Thank you, Mariana. Uh, I would like to, to thank the Secretary of State, uh, Vince Cable, for the invitation, as well as uh, Mariana and Luciano. I think the idea is to uh, provoke a little bit and, and give a tease of what uh, will happen tomorrow. Um, and although um, Germany has uh, somewhat shaken uh, Brazilian creative pride recently, <laughs> and we may reset our innovation policies uh, uh, to reinvent football, uh, I must say that uh, Brazil is, is facing a transformational period. Uh, something magic is happening in Brazil in terms of how government and the private sector uh, create an environment never seen before and uh, with a very virtual cycle of bringing not only uh, entrepreneurs and government to, a, I think, a, a, a very productive new moment, but most of all, bring the new generation, bring new scientists to be proud of uh, creating Brazilian science and transform it into te technology. Of course, I have a narrow view. I have an example on one company that we were able to uh, found uh, three years ago. And uh, tomorrow I give you uh, a little more, uh, a little uh, more about uh, how uh, this company was founded and how uh, BNDS has uh, played a very fundamental role on uh, not only uh, foreseeing um, what could be a mission-oriented financing policy, but also participating uh, in, in the company. And as a whole, as a provocative thought. I think there's much on common sense on how government can um, uh, create trust and build the infrastructure and, and through uh, long-term policies can um, even build new industries. But I think we, what I sometimes uh, lack is, is the right governance at the right place with the right uh, interfaces and how and when and whom uh, to communicate with. So sometimes government can have this great intention the great policies may be late, but if the right people to talk and the right people to commit beyond partisan ideology and beyond a, a, a parties and government mandates, so it must be equity-oriented long-term with the right incentives, all good intention may come uh, to be arbitrated by the private sector, either through buyback of shares or through arbitrating the business itself. So I think government should think on how to be in a midway not intervening on trying to outsmart business because business is much more agile than government and to find a way to arbitrate, but create the right demand. And the right demand, I think, is built well or better when he thinks the value chain. So mission-oriented value chain demand. Don't try to outsmart business. Thank you.